Hey everyone, it's Tyler Shurek from Universal Rackets, and in this video, I am going to teach you how to hit the topspin serve, the deep serve, the slice serve to make the ball curve to the left, the ball curve to the right, and maybe a couple more serves. If you stay tuned for this whole video, you're going to be able to learn all these different types of serves and types of spins that you can implement into your pickleball game. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. So the first type of serve that we are going to teach is we are going to teach the slice serve to the right. If you can implement this type of serve, you are going to be able to pull your opponent out to the right. Now, this is a great serve that I like to use when I am on the left side. The reason why is if I'm on the left side, I'm aiming to the right box, I can really create an angle. And what you guys have to learn is not just how to hit the serve, but the strategy behind hitting that type of serve. And I want you to think angle creates angle. So by using a slice serve curving to the right outside, on the left side, it's going to force my returner to hit the ball all the way over here. They're either going to go A, hit a very low percent of shot and try to hit it down the line, they're going to end up missing, or B, they're going to have to get the ball in, they're going to hit it right to the middle, and then they're going to be over there so it opens up their middle. So, once again, by going all the way out wide utilizing this serve, it's going to force your opponents to hit the ball into the middle. Now, for video purposes, I'm going to be teaching you from the right side, but that's perfectly fine. I'm going to be teaching you how to hit the serve. Just kidding, guys. We are going to go from the left side. This serve is too good to not show it on this side, so you guys can try this yourself. Now, I like to think you are bending the ball like Beckham. Now, how do you know where the ball is going to go when your opponent slices the serve? It's very easy. If I swing to the left, the ball is going to curve to the right. If I swing to the right, the ball is going to curve to the left. Now, the grip that you want to get is the continental grip. You want your paddle straight out. Now, if you want to take that to the next level, if you want to curve the ball to the right, you are going to tilt your paddle a little bit to the right. Once again, if I want to curve the ball to the right, I am going to tilt my paddle a little bit to the right. This is going to allow me to get under the ball more, grip more of the ball so it can go and react. Now, okay, I'm going to get a couple comments. Tyler, while you're spinning it, it's illegal. The PPR rulebook section 2-A-B-3, didn't you read it, everything? Number one, I'm not a professional uh, pickleball player. I do not go out on the PPA tour. And if I ever play on the PPA tour, I'm probably not making it to the final rounds where there are referees watching me. If you're a club level, intermediate, rec level player, this serves, all these serves that I teach are going to be perfectly fine and you are not going to get called for it. The next thing, you are not allowed to spin the pickleball in your hand per the 2022 rule change. However, you are allowed to spin it as long as you drop the ball without any spin. So I can spin the ball all I want as long as I don't move it with my hand. So again, if I wanna bend the ball to the right, what do I do? I have to swing to the left. I want you to think that you're getting under the ball. So again, you're going to go, instead of a normal serve where you're hitting through the ball, fully on top of the ball, I want you to think that you are going from east to west on the ball. Or I want you to think as a clock 12, six, I want you to think that you're going around from like, let's say two or three, three o'clock to let's say seven o'clock. I'm trying to picture the clock. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paddle back. I'm going to tilt it a little bit right because I want to get it to the right. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to swing to the left. Once I finish again, I'm going to finish with my paddle on the opposite side of my body. So it's going to look like this. Now, here's a big thing. I want to keep this paddle on this side of my body. Viewer discretion is advised. So you guys need to understand this. Too many players, they end up missing their slice serves because they think it's all with their wrist. And they'll, ow, I just hit myself. But they're going to go like this or something like that. And they're going to lose so much control. No, you want to have a great finish point once you're done. You want to hold it. The more you move your wrist and you chop, the less consistent that you are going to be. Now, here is a great tip to do, okay? The slower that the ball goes, the more time it has to react. Once again, the slower you hit this serve, the more time it has to react. So if you want to hit a really 
really good slice serve, you're not going to go super hard. You are going to slow it down. Watch, here we are. Oh, did you guys see that? I'm not even going to talk about what happened right there. Let's try one more. One more, ready? You guys ready? Look how much time I am giving that ball to react. Again, I am giving it time. The faster you go, the less time it has to react. Think of baseball, all the change-ups, they're not as fast as the pitcher's fastball. So again, I'm gonna go here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it around. One more time, right? I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to go, and again, I'm going to bring it around. Now, the more I point the tip of my paddle, the more I am going to really knife the ball. So when you're learning it, again, I'm going to finish here, but then once you get used to it, you're going to be finishing more over here. Now, if I can make it really slow, I can get the ball even shorter instead of going back to the baseline and it can really pull my opponent off the court. Let's see. And I don't wanna lose my ball in the gate again. So let's see if I can do it one more. Ah, oh, okay, well, that's fine. But as you guys can see, by swinging from the right to the left, getting under the ball, I'm not moving my wrist again and finishing here, you can hit that ball and make it curve to the right. Now we talked about the slice serve to the right. Now we are going to talk about the slice serve to the left. Now, if I am a left-handed player, this is going to be the serve for you. If you're a right-handed player, it's probably going to be easier to curve the ball to the right. If you're a left-handed player, it's probably going to be easy to curve the ball to the left. So if you're a lefty, do exactly what I did, but just change instead of going to the right, go to the left. But for a right-handed player, to curve the ball to the left or a left-handed player to curve the ball to the right. What are we going to do? Instead of hitting a forehand serve, I'm going to serve a backhand serve. Again, I'm going to curve the ball to the left and how do we curve the ball to the left? You should already know, I already told you how. I am going to swing to the right. By swinging to the right again, I'm going to be able to make that ball go to the left. Now, by doing this, I'm probably going to want to what? go on the right side. The reason why is because it's going to allow me to pull my opponent out wide. Again, by pulling them out wide, this is going to force them to what? To make sure that they go into the middle of the court. Now, for the backhand, this is a difficult serve. This is a serve that you guys want to do when you guys are practicing pickleball. You don't want to go out and try this in a game situation. But I'm going to be sideways. I'm going to start with my, uh, my paddle on the right side or left, sorry. And then I'm going to finish with my paddle on the right. It is the same mechanics. When I finish, I don't want to move my wrist. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go there. I just want to make sure I point my paddle here. Now, if I want to take it even further, I'm going to, again, point the paddle more out this way. So I'm going to be here. I like to be sideways. Start with my paddle here. I don't like to take my paddle back too much. That's where players go wrong as well. Their paddle's all the way back here, and then they go and they don't have leverage. I wanna start in front. You guys see how my paddle's here? And then when I finish again, I'm going to finish over here. Here to here. Let's try it. Here we are. So I'm gonna drop the ball. This is gonna be kind of difficult because now we're dropping on top. So you're kind of making an X. You're gonna have your paddle here. I want you to think that you're gonna have your paddle here to start and then you're going to make an X on top of your paddle, and that's where you're going to drop the ball. Again, you're not going to go paddle on top, ball below. You're going to go paddle below, ball on top, so then you can hit that slice. So make an X with the ball on top. So I'm gonna be sideways, make my X. Here we are, and I'm going to serve again, and I'm going to finish to the right. Let's try one more. I'm going to serve here. I'm going to start and I'm going to finish to the right. And did you see that action that I got on that serve? Now, like I told you before, if you wanna hit a good serve and make a curve to the right more, you're going to tilt your paddle to the right. If you wanna make it hit a good serve and make a curve to the left more, you're going to tilt your paddle more to the left. That's going to help you bite the ball and really get that spin around that shot. 
Now, I want to make note of what I did between the first and the second serve. The first serve, what happened? The first serve, I missed really, really wide. The second serve I made, what did I do for a mental note? You have to think, when you're hitting these slice serves, the ball is going to curve. Once again, when you're hitting these slice serves, the ball is going to curve. So, if you ever miss super wide, instead of aiming for where you want to hit, you have to realize the ball is going to go like this. I want you to aim towards the center of the box. If I aim towards the center of the box and I am hitting a backhand serve that's spinning to the left, when it goes, it's going to eventually go into the box. If I aim all the way out wide though, that ball can curve and it's going to go super out. So again, if you ever miss these types of serve, what are you going to do? You're just going to aim for the center T. So again, I'm gonna make my X here, I'm gonna drop, and I'm going to serve. Again, I am giving myself time every single one. I'm not going super fast like this, right? I'm giving it hang time so it can react. So here we are. I'm going to tilt my paddle super to the left. I'm gonna finish out here more. Let's see how much spin I can get. Oh, that was horrible. One more. So I have to aim super to the right. As you saw, that had a ton of spin because I made these adjustments, but it went super over there. So now actually for me, for the serve, I'm going to aim straight ahead and let's see what happens. Here we are. Look, look at that serve. Oh my gosh. Haters will say that was in the kitchen. It was not in the kitchen. I'm telling you, I'm not sure the angle that you guys can see from, but that is how you do it. Now I got all that spin. The ball literally curved all the way over there. But what did I do? What was I thinking for that? I was thinking serve straight ahead because I knew how much the ball will curve. So if you can swing from the left to the right, if you're a right-handed player, you're going to get this ball to really curve to the left. Now, we went over the slice serves. Now what we're going to do is we are going to teach you how to hit the topspin serve and how to hit the deep serve. So once again, instead of going from east to west for the slice serve, or three to let's say nine, or no, let's say two, one, two, two to probably seven. Instead of going from let's say, I'm trying to think of the clock, from like 10 to let's say four, from 10 to four for the backhand. Now for the forehand topspin serve, what you're going to do is you're going to go from six to 12. Once again, if you wanna hit this topspin serve, instead of coming on top of the ball, high to low, like you do for the slice, instead of hitting a flat serve, like you just go forward like that, you are going to go from low to high. You're going to think that you are going from north to south when you hit this ball. You're going to get under the ball and come up. Now players, they try to hit this topspin serve and they end up missing, and here is the reason why. They think that they have to move their wrist. Okay, that was in, but that was illegal. They think that they have to move their wrist. You don't need to turn your wrist. You never want to turn your wrist. You want to think that you're doing a wave, but a sideways wave. Ladies and gentlemen, wave your paddle, turn it to the side, turn it to the side, and then do a sideways wave. This is the type of motion you want to get the top spin and help you get under that ball. Now the next thing that you need to think is you need to allow your paddle to get on top of the ball. You need to allow the paddle to react to the ball. A lot of players, they can't hit spin because they have a death grip on their paddle and they can't get it in. Instead of that, I want you to hold the paddle loose so you can let the paddle do the work. I want you to think by loosening up the paddle, what's it going, it's going to do? is it's going to automatically point the tip of the paddle down. That's going to A, allow you hit a legal serve, but then B, it's gonna allow you to get under the ball so you can create that top spin like you're doing the sideways wave. So again, I'm gonna take my paddle back. I'm going to be loose. I'm going to make sure I point the tip of my paddle down and I'm going to go under the ball. Now, where did I miss? I missed straight ahead because my body was straight, facing straight ahead. I'm going to face to my target more. I'm going to get under it, under it and that's going to allow me to hit the top spin serve. So again, I'm gonna take my paddle back. Here we are. And all I'm going to do is swing up on the ball. I wanna make sure that I exaggerate my swing for the top spin serve. Normal flat serve, I just swing forward, right? But for the topspin serve, I wanna to be loose and I want to swing 
up. Now, if you want to hit a more serve that goes to the right, you're going to tilt the paddle right. I told you, if you want to make it go to the left, you're going to tilt your paddle to the left. But if you want to hit a topspin serve, you're going to tilt your paddle down a little bit more. I want you to think that this is the face of the paddle. You want your paddle face tilting down a little bit more so you can really get on top of the ball. So again, by tilting the paddle down, that's going to allow me to what? That's going to allow me to get under the ball and generate that top spin every single time. Again, I can get under and rip that top spin. Now, we went over the top spin serve. Now we're going to go over the last serve, maybe a couple more serve tips, and this is going to be the deep serve. Now, what is the deep serve, or AKA the lob serve? It is a serve that you pop the ball up in the air, and it's going to look like this. It's a good change up. It allows your opponents to be on your toes, and a lot of players, they don't like hitting slow balls that come to them. If you want to hit a good lob serve, and I got this from Zane Navratil, he completely changed my lob serve or my deep serve. Instead of swinging forward, you're going to swing up. I want you to think the arc of your body. Again, instead of going forward and through it, I'm going to be swinging more up. My curve is going to be here rather than going through and forward. So I want to swing up. I want to think that I'm going up. Once I'm done my serve, I want my chest to be up in the air. So what it's going to look like is this. I'm going to start low, and then once I'm done, I'm going to finish high. Let's go to more height. Here we are, I'm going to start low. And again, I'm going to lift the ball up in the air. One more, here we are, start low, lift, and finish high. So by lifting your body up, that's going to get you your deep serve. Now, I had a lot of trouble trying to learn the deep serve myself because what I do, or I found myself to do at first, and I feel like many players do, is that they tend to slow down their swing. For this deep serve, you need to hit topspin. How do you hit topspin? You have to hold the pedal loose and let it go. So don't slow your swing down. Make sure you accelerate and keep on going. When I first was doing it, it looked way more horrendous than this, but it really looked like this, right? Try to hit a lob serve, and here we are. I'd slow it down, and it would go up. I'm trying not to make, oh, shoot. I did not mean to make it bounce over there. I feel super bad. That's okay. I was doing that demonstration. If people weren't over there, I was going to hit super long, but who cares? So what I'm going to do again is instead of slowing it down, I'm going to get my body here, I'm going to accelerate, I'm going to do the exact same swing path, but again, I'm going to finish with my body up. If I want to hit it deeper, what I can do is I can load in my back leg a little bit. By loading in my back leg, or by pointing this hip out, that's going to help me get a more upward swing path rather than a forward swing path. So again, by loading and getting into my back leg and going up, I am going to be able to hit my topspin lob or deep serve. Now, a couple more things. What did I say? If I swing up and I get my body going up, I'm going to be able to get the ball up. Controversial or on the other side, contradictory to that, if I want to hit a more flat serve and swing through, if I can get my body forward, I can really get more through the ball and forward. Once again, if I want to hit a really powerful, penetrating, piercing serve, instead of going up, instead of just going normal here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go more forward. Another good thing that helps with that is by keeping your head down. By keeping your head down, that's going to keep your body forward. Now, the last thing, and this is going to change your game, a lot of players, they struggle with power because they start on their front foot. If you start on your front foot, you have no weight. The power in a serve doesn't come from the arm, it comes from the rotation and the momentum of your body. So instead of starting on front foot, start on your back foot, and that's going to allow you to load and explode into your serve rather than just starting here and using your arm and arming it. So again, start on the back foot, then go onto the front foot, hopefully get the ball over net, start on back foot, and then go onto the front foot and hopefully get the ball in. I blame that on the wind, and you're gonna be so much better off while you hit your serve. So again, we went over how to curve the ball to the left, how to curve to the ball to the right, slice serve, topspin serve, deep serve, more powerful penetrating serve, and a couple more serve tips. 
Now, if you guys love this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow myself, my wife, the Pickle Yogi. Make sure to check out our newsletter. Make sure to share with a friend. And make sure if you guys want any type of pickleball program in your area, anywhere you are in this country, make sure you fill out the Universal Rackets application and a Universal Rackets representative will get out to you today uh, in 24 hours. Sorry, it's a little bit late. Have a good one. Happy hitting. And we will see you guys next time on court.